Hello, I'm Brave Dave. This is part two of my Alana Trilogy documentary, which I made 10 years ago and I'm now putting up onto YouTube. If you've not yet seen part one, then click here. If you like my videos, then feel free to join my Facebook page, or you can follow me on Twitter, or you can even subscribe to me on YouTube. In fact, I think you should do all three of those things right now. Do it before the video starts. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. You done it? Yeah? Brilliant. You didn't do it at all, did you, you lying bastard? Unbelievable. Getting it. Banana roti with sugar. With extra sugar. It's looking good. Not really. How are you anticipating this roti? I don't taste better than a donkey's asshole. But... Much better than a donkey's asshole. The Thais eat out for virtually every meal and so they sure know how to cook food in roadside stands. Everywhere you go in Chiang Mai there's food sellers of some sort, so if you like eating, like myself, you are sure to never go hungry. There's loads of cafes around Lana too, and there's always regular ones preferred by the boxers because they sell good, cheap Thai and Western food. Before the camp moved, Andy's wife, Pom, used to have a cafe just by the house where we'd all hang out on the night and eat after training. There's also a similar place called The American just up the road. Your face is healed. Well, man. NHS, man. How did that happen? NHS, I've never heard anyone say that before. Brilliant. Did you get a picture of that? Uh, I'll, yeah, I was going to film his, um, his photograph. Hold the, the picture of your eyes up to your eyes. <laughs> No, so it's, no, it's in front of it. Before and after plastic surgery. That's it, down over a bit, down, that's it. <laughs> that's nothing you should have seen when I got some circumcised. <laughs> During my last trip, we'd eat at the Cherry Marts Cafe about 30 metres from the camp. So why are you not eating anything? Because I'm not hungry. And kind of sick of eating in that place. Cool. <laughs> Since you don't seem to get sick of it. Ever. <laughs> Ever. And in fact, you freak out if you eat here. Enjoy your oatmeal, man. I need to shave. I need to shave my head. I need to shave my face. I need to shave my pubes. How much do you think they charge? <laughs> Extra 10 baht. <laughs> Another regular place for dinner was an all-you-can-eat barbecue cafe in town called Utopia. Salad, fruit, potato, spaghetti, chips, bread, and of course, all the meat you can eat. Oh, dude, you're filming us at our worst. <laughs> what kind of action is going on there? That dog has got its dick stuck in the bitch. Hang on, it's, oh, it's free, it's free. Oh, yeah. It's all right now. I'm <laughs> Beautiful. And like every bar in Thailand, there's a free pool table where you can show off your mad skills. What a loser. Hey. What's that barbecue place? Oh, yeah. Utopia. Euthanasia. Euthanasia. They are in euthanasia. <laughs> and then there were proper restaurants where we'd go sometimes if we wanted to change the scenery and to pay five times as much. But it's a price well worth paying in exchange for excellent food and stimulating friendly conversation. What the fuck are you looking at? Fuck off. <laughs> and uh, the frogs as well. Music to your ears. chickens that live in the middle of your... River. Yeah! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Sorry. Pardon? I still have to get my teeth. Boat pirates. <laughs> 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 Thai pirates. Oh, man. Thai pirates. Cafe of Tartu. Frisbee. Basically, food is good, cheap, and plentiful in Thailand. Oh, but you don't want to drink the tap water unless you want the shits for a month. Buy bottled water from any shop instead. This, you can only find in Thailand. It's not quite ice cream, it's not quite ice lolly. It's like a weird combination. But it's definitely chemical. It's definitely chemical. And I eat about 15 of these a day. And my skin's turning light green. 
Look, check out all the water, right? They're the cheap ones, they're five baht. Five baht for a litre of water, absolute bargain, you can't go wrong. Uh, that's all for like designer water. That's for rich people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a traveller on a budget. Well, well, of course you are. But if you're really cheap, chances is two baht. You can buy oh, a bag. I want to shoot in your face. <laughs> you can buy a bag of water. 12 baht for 6 litres of water, I ask you. Check this shit out. Wow, nice car, <laughs> Breaking new boundaries. Amazing. Keep the air conditioning in. Don't, don't have a record over that. No. <laughs> oh shit, that's oh, no, come on! He wants to eat. <laughs> you know what I get in sick of the time? Having to wipe your damn ass with your damn hand. One thing you're sure don't want to be doing a lot of in Thailand is walking about. Whether it's hot as hell or pissing it down like there's no tomorrow, walking is no fun. Fortunately, getting around is easy with loads of public transport and a million vehicles to rent. Tuk-tuks are little three-wheeler taxis which bomb about the city and tip to the side worryingly far when turning corners. They're loud, smelly and 100% Thai, so you have to ride in one at some point. They're designed for one driver and a maximum of three passengers, but with it being Thailand, there's no harm in cramming in two drivers and four big guys in the back. Yeah, I'm the turn signal. It's like a, a 50cc mobile. Uh, nah, it's a good 65. Songtows are a cross between a bus and a taxi. A recent survey put the number of Songtows in Chiang Mai at just over 400 trillion, so you're always sure to have one coming your way. Make the most of Thailand's complete lack of concern for health and safety and hang off the back of a song tell like Indiana Jones might or maybe even Mad Max. Can you do that on one foot? <laughs> no hands! No hands! <laughs> we, if, we, if we slow down something, my head goes. <laughs> Don't fall though because a driver sure as hell won't care and you'll just become another stupid dead farang statistic. However, why bother with all that when it's so cheap, easy and convenient to rent a bike? There's no need for a license, previous driving experience or anything silly like that. All you need is your passport as a deposit and 100 baht per day. Bikes save so much time compared to public transport and are also great fun. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Wow. Yeah, you're... Because it's, all we need to do is slant down a little bit. So, yeah, it's uh... okay. Driving's great in Thailand, but you really do have to watch yourself. Driving in Thai traffic takes some getting used to. Road laws seem to just be basic guidelines and anything goes really. It's also easy to get a bit too confident sometimes, which can often lead to trouble. Go down. Is it on? Yes. I don't know how obvious that was to the, <laughs> to the viewer, but I was like that far from crashing to the back of that car. <laughs> You may have noticed people only wearing helmets during the daytime. Well, you see, since the police realised what a money spinner it is to stand in the road and stop and find everyone on a bike not wearing a helmet, they've taken to doing it virtually every other day. Therefore, the only way to guarantee a hassle-free ride into town during the day is by wearing a stupid-looking, ineffective and pointless helmet. But I don't blame the cops. Having several mistresses as well as a wife and kids must really put a strain on their wallets, so they have to get their cash from somewhere. But despite the dangers, getting a bike is the most sensible thing you can do as far as getting around is concerned. Well, already David almost killed us twice. Uh, first, while overtaking a large truck, uh, and, uh, two motorbikes came towards us and uh, narrowly missed them by, uh, I'd say, a good four feet. Uh, meters, man, meters! Yeah, that's not my fault. Oh, yeah, that his fault though because uh, he wasn't driving 130 kilometers an hour and uh, he wasn't on the right side of the road. <laughs> There's also cars and jeeps to rent. These are useful if you're going on a longer journey for whatever reason and are rented as easily as bikes. Yeah, There's an on. American jeep. Push Alex, push. Come on baby. <laughs> Let's go, hurry up. Did it help now? Yeah, I think it helps. <laughs> However, be warned, rental vehicles tend to have been driven through hell and back by 100 people before you, so there's no telling what can go wrong. Just like a group of us found out in 2001 when taking a couple of days out to go camping in the mountains. Okay, hold on to your... Oh, <laughs> Whatever. Seatbelt. No, well, hold on to... Oh, hold on to your ass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
the fucking camera. <laughs> Problems with the four wheel drive. I don't understand that shit. Is he shifting into gear? It like won't disengage. It, it only it only shifts into gear when it's in four wheel drive. Huh? <laughs> Once again, we've lost Jeremy. <laughs> oh, so, so like, the car is like, falling apart. We were driving along. We're driving along. Yeah. Stuck in four wheel drive down, down a mountain drive. on a decent road. <laughs> Smelt <laughs> burning. Smelt Suddenly, burning. A, a bit of an explosion <laughs> sort of noise came from under the car. That's right. And, and a clinking of metal. Car is falling so apart. Bad, we, we look behind, naturally worried. <laughs> See our uh, drive shaft just falling off the bottom of the shittest uh, truck ever like built. I'm going to show you the funny part though. The, Plus 12. <laughs> the reason for Ryan's concern is that it was his passport which was used for our Jeep deposit and he was leaving Thailand in three days. In other words, so even though you weren't in the car and it wasn't our fault driving the car, you, you're still responsible. That is correct, Dave. This man. In a few years, you come look for me, I'll be up there. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in the mountains, so it's a peaceful existence. A good place to end my journey. So there you have it, basic transport in Chiang Mai. One last thing about bikes though, whereas the ties can happily fit three or even four on a bike at once, there are fewer things more comic than Farang's trying to do the same. As proven by Johan, John and Dave, tirelessly travelling the lands on their 100cc machine of justice, solving mysteries and fighting crime. Hanging out with your fellow friends, buddies, comrades and chums is an essential part of any trip out anywhere and luckily for you, Chiang Mai offers a load of stuff for you to all do on a night. If you want to go see a film then there's a couple of cinemas nearby, alternatively you can head on down to Future Media and rent a DVD to watch in one of their rooms for a fantastic 50 baht a person. Yo, Al, I've told you twice already, we're not going to watch this alright, just get over it. Air conditioned roof, widescreen TV, cake, Spider-Man posters, Yo, Al, we're complete. <laughs> you can also drive into town and check out the markets. The Thais love their open markets and Chiang Mai is covered in them every night of the week. The main one is the Night Bazaar, open seven nights a week and the perfect place to buy everyday essentials such as clothes, footwear, CDs, jewellery and ninja weapons of death. That's Enam's though. Look at that nasty little wing thing. Which one? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You insist I buy something. <laughs> Yeah. Watch out now. <laughs> Don't get all crazy now. Jesus. The fun shit. Roti. What? Oh, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Steady. Oh, you need to simmer down. Pick that up. I have like two of these at home. It's a blame No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't let that go off in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had one of the kids. Put my lens through. There's also an enormous market on every Sunday night, cleverly called the Sunday Night Market. It starts at Taipei Gate and spreads all the way through the old city, and it's quite an experience the first time you check it out. Already, 
No, so with what? Okay. Let's go. All Spoggins <laughs> like, like his life depends on it. So we tight. Spoggins shit. Man. <laughs> it'll last, it'll last. I don't like it. Okay. Sunday market is the place to be. I don't know what day it's on though. It's a Tuesday. If you don't actually want a uh, wooden carving or cloth or jewellery, I want ninja stars. Look, hardcore porn, drug abuse. What do you think about eating? Pick a fight. As you'd expect, there's a few bars in Chiang Mai, the main collection being on Loy Crow Road, and the girls who work in them will welcome you with open arms, if you have money. Personally, I find these places a bit depressing, and prefer instead to head straight over to Bubbles Nightclub. Bubbles isn't exactly much better, but at least you can boogie on the dance floor for a bit before it completely fills up with tourists and bar girls. You're not allowed cameras in bars and clubs, which is why this footage is a bit hidden and sneaky. By the time it's so packed that there's no room to dance or move, Bubbles becomes a bit crap as it means you end up surrounded by 500 old Farang trying to woo the 500 bar girls who know exactly what they're doing and are playing them for every bar they can get. Seeing middle-aged Farang trying to kiss a bar girl and the bar girl pulling away awkwardly is pretty cringing, as is the last song when the light comes on and everyone starts making out like it's a school disco or something and they're 13 years old again. Outside bubbles and you're pretty much guaranteed a fight of some sort, either Thai versus Thai or Farang versus Farang. Thai versus Farang are very rare, very nasty and best avoided at all costs. Way too strong to see it. <laughs> yes, you were. Oh yeah. Good shit. This is Apple. Apple. Say hello to the camera. Sorry, car. Sorry, car. Uh. Yo, when you hey, so fuck damn fuck handsome, man. Face. You're so fucking handsome. Oh, fuck you, babe. Here is uh, Yon's best yeah. friend. Yeah. Hang on one second. Yeah. Negotiating with the toy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not explain when we... No. It's a soap opera. No. <laughs> Fuck you, babe. <laughs> I mean, still don't answer my question. What the fuck are you doing in Chiang Mai? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing in Sweden? What the fuck am I doing in Bangkok? What the fuck am I doing everywhere? I'm, I'm just... Fucking girls or something. Fucking hard. Fucking girls. You into that. Have a fucking good time. Seriously, I just... How old are you, man? John, I think if you do my own fighters. Huh? What, what do you think? I reckon 15. 15? I just. Yeah. No. Maybe, I, 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 seriously, I look like 15. I'm, I'm 20. 20. 20. That's the same age as me. I'm on the camera and I say you don't. Check matter. Bruce out. Where's he going? There are, of course, loads of other bars and clubs around, but these are mostly non bar girl places and therefore offer no interest to most tourists. There's also lots of elite clubs which you can't find without being taken there. After living in Chiang Mai for over a year and going out with a few Thai girls, Blake knows where all these places are but doesn't want me saying so as to keep all the tourists away. Very mysterious. <laughs> are you going to eat it there? Or? <laughs> hey, we us do a reenactment of the other night after Bubbles and Spicy. Fight. No, no, not fight. Suicidal Wan. <laughs> so I'm there dancing. <laughs> Just for the record, the other night after Bubbles, a bar girl called Wan tried to kill herself because I wouldn't dance with her. And uh, Mr. Yohan here saved her. Now, are you sure it wasn't she tried to kill herself because you danced with her, are you? Uh, so, hopefully it was the other way around, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, in all her mental glory, she decided to swan dive into the moat. <laughs> a bit like this. <laughs> 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 That's nice. That's a good Aaron Cameron take. <laughs> it's <laughs> not shot. So yeah, that was the excitement of the night. I can say that my dancing skills <laughs> cause girls to become suicidal. <laughs> yeah.
The Chiang Mai 700 year sports complex is another popular place to hang out and groups of boxers can happily spend from an hour to a whole afternoon there, just fooling about and burning in the sunshine. That hurt like a bitch. <laughs> Filming, filming. Flex, yeah. <laughs> Flex a little bit, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> cool, boys. Push them both. Push them both. Boys, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whether you want to act a fool or perfect your front crawl, the swimming pool is the place to do it. Go on, Dave, you can make it. During the day when the kids are all at school, the swimming pool is virtually empty, meaning you and your friends have your very own Olympic dive pool to mess around with. And with all the testosterone present, this leaves just one thing to do, playing with gravity. You ready? Yeah. And there's Brave Dave. Okay. Here we go, follow this. Cheating death again. And he's gone. Do the naught centimeters. <laughs> Jay, for, for 20,000 baht, would you uh, drink a pint of diarrhea? Yeah. Without even thinking twice. Hey, what? A pint of diarrhea. Let's get it. Jerry, I've got the shits at the moment. I could easily collect so some. We'll mix it it's up. beautiful. It's like orange juice, but a bit thicker. That's a badass that insect. Bad boy, Let's see if it can get it to tackle ends. Oh, oh, come on. Come get me, bro. Yes. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> well, you kill mosquitoes, because that can come in my room. <laughs> hey, Jay, <laughs> so you get some travel insurance. Like Jay, if you don't have travel insurance and end up paying hospital fees, you'll find your trip cut dramatically short. <laughs> Chiang Mai isn't a malaria zone, but the mosquitoes can still carry disease. I got lip. <laughs> In 2003, there was a dengue fever epidemic which infected loads of people, including most of the boxers at some point. Hey, mosses, man, look at them. It's hundreds of them. Any one of these could be carrying dengue. Even if a mozzie isn't carrying anything, it can still mess you up. I don't react so well to mozzie bites and come out with big pulsating blisters. My advice is clean and cover these immediately. I left one on my heel thinking it would sort itself out, but an infection got in. My foot swelled and it got to the point where I couldn't walk or even stand properly as it felt like my foot would Have a burst. Quick, um, infection update. <laughs> Fat swollen foot, look at it. I'll tell you what, if it doesn't get better by the end of this trip, you're officially allowed to hack it off. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Powerful antibiotics and a thorough cleaning twice a day sorted it out in the end, but it's not something I wish to repeat. It's another beautiful day in Thailand, and Dave will right now show us how to clean a wound. First we need to clear all the dead, rotting, diseased flesh. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, disease. <laughs> that looks extremely good. Does it hurt? But that's gonna be great, no? Stings. Shit. <laughs> 
Oh man, wow, oh, that's ugly. Five about each for the pharmacy. <laughs> My breakfast. That looks amazing, man. <laughs> Someone else who's familiar with mosquito induced swelling is Thomas, who got a similar thing to me but a tiny bit worse. Oh, Holy good. shit. This is a, a normal sized arm, perfectly in uh, proportion with Thomas's body. And then we have his He Man arm. Jesus. He uses this one to punch people. Holy. Yeah, an infection of something constantly coming out. Like, yeah, now it's coming out big time. <laughs> you wouldn't want to see it without the patch because it really is disgusting. Here, let me so get something it. funny. Get up close. Oh, yeah, this is like Anthony's knee. You press it, it doesn't go back. Oh, oh my word. Yeah. It's good to see her driving with a massive bag of laundry. This is also the comedy size of the bag. <laughs> then there are injuries. Of course, Muay Thai is rough, but you're much more likely to do yourself damage from your bike, especially if you ride like a crazy guy, like Mike. Show your ribs. How fast were you going? Not, yeah, Not very fast. It's a combination, you see. You've got bruises. At the end of the day, it's luck of the draw whether you're hit with something, so it sure as hell makes sense to be prepared. So you get some travel insurance, travel insurance, travel insurance. Uh, that one? I got that from Kicking Martin. The other day, it has you beat on the whole toe thing. Yeah. The fact, I'm going to get his injuries right now. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It puts my uh, little pathetic bruise to shame, I've got to say. <laughs> what is that? That was my medication. All right. <laughs> it's going to eat all this. Yeah, I got quaaludes, <laughs> I got speed, I got amphetamines. I God bless health insurance. Yeah. Looks like a nice camera. Yeah, it's, it's old. I bought it for my first trip here. If you didn't already know, you need a visa to get into Thailand. A visa is basically a license to be in the country. If your visa expires before you've left, then you will be fined a couple of hundred baht for every day you overstay, which you really don't want. Tourist visas last one month, and you get one stamped in your passport when you arrive in Bangkok airport. If you're staying for more than one month, then you'll need to get your visa renewed at some point. This involves leaving Thailand and then coming back in, and the closest border to Chiang Mai is that of Burma in the town of Maesai, about three hours drive away. Andy does a monthly border run in his truck, so write your name on the board in the camp when your expiry date is approaching and secure yourself a place. So what's Andy going to do, just drop us at the border? Yeah, then we have to fend for ourselves in Burma <laughs> for half an hour. Why half an hour? I don't know, just go across and come back and buy a DVD. Burmese corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mop on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, you can find your own way there. A sexy helmet. If it's just you, then getting a bus to Mesa is probably your best bet. Um, I need to get to Mesa in two days. If there's a few of you, then it might be worth renting a car for the day. I mean, like Krabi to Bangkok, it was a decent overnight trip. Yeah. And that was at Chiang Mai, so you're looking at least a 24 hour trip. Right, 24 hours? At least, yeah. Shit. If you're on a train, yeah. Yeah, from Shanghai down south. It's best to set off early so as to avoid the crowds. We're in Myanmar, Burma, and this dodgy little man trying to sell us anything. Cigarettes when we don't even smoke. 140 baht. How much? Huh? I need 200. 200? Like all border towns, Maysai is built on counterfeit, so be sure to take some money if you want to stock up on the latest game consoles and gay porn. Considering I don't have a DVD player, it means I just have to go home with porno CDs and wank off at the actual pictures on the CD. <laughs> Once you've been shopping, crossed back into Thailand, got your passport back and body popped on the border, you're set to return home to Lana and all is well for another 30 days. It's <laughs> dried. Water buffalo semen from Burma. <laughs> Yummy! In the same shape it came out. <laughs> that she actually looks quite intelligent sitting there pouring into a book. L little do they know that he's dumb as fuck. Thai people, like Southeast Asians in general, are very friendly, especially compared to Westerners. In England, making eye contact with a stranger is very likely to result in something like this. But in Thailand, you'll just get a smile instead. When it comes to knowing what sex they are, however, the Thais are a little less obvious. I don't know if it's something in the water or what, but as I'm sure you're aware, Thailand is rampant with gender benders. 
Ladyboys, or katoys as they're called over there, are the subject of massive curiosity the world over, but after you've been in Thailand a short time, they're just an everyday thing. That, that katoy was the one who came onto me last time. She's got a man's face, but tits. A bit like you. Are you zooming in on my red nose? Yeah. When I first came to Lana, I was young and naive. My first night out to Bobble soon educated me and I was informed that the ultra-fine girl I was checking out used to be a guy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, uh, no fucking, I don't want to be with the story. Then, then he's like, I just suck you up, you don't touch me, 500 baht. <laughs> Wait, they, have to pay for the, they have to pay for the operation, so. However, just because they want to be women, some katoys are still more than capable of hitting like a man as proven in one of the first Muay Thai fights I ever saw. 